was an exciting day for this energetic little dog. He's very excited. They've already done a little visit and he's been out. He's he's ready to go to a new home. Ashley Gian and her mom Carla signed the papers, took the dog out to the car, but they weren't headed home. She was always so sweet and stuff and I went to school with her for a while and I never knew that the case was that bad. And I just thought it'd be something nice to like make her happy. They're taking the dog to a friend of Ashley's. Her story touched my heart. She's only 17 and it could be my daughter. 17 year old Tia Shepard has suffered from a degenerative disease since she was two. Doctors haven't been able to diagnose it. The disease has taken Tia's hearing, her balance, her ability to walk and so much more. I was told that she's at her end stages of life right now. We don't know, no one's ever gave us, well this is what's gonna happen, you know, it's just, it's been a day to day type process. With deteriorating health, Tia wrote out her bucket list. On that list is a Yorkshire Terrier as a pet. We'll just have you sign and date here for us. A gift from one family to another, their teenage daughters, their only connection. We just gotta be blessed every day and give thanks to God that she's still here with us. In love with her new dog, that's not where the bucket list ends. She wants to see Italy, she wants to uh, uh, talk to Extreme Home Makeover. Um, she just has wishes that she wants to kind of get out there. She wants to write an autobiography, a song to sing to everybody about her and everything else. She has a great heart. Watching Tia suffer, her older sister Mariah is fighting what the family believes is the same undiagnosed disease. To me, it makes me feel unique and different. It doesn't really bother me that much because I know that I'm different than other people. But I deal with it fine. Mariah has lost her hearing and the use of her arms, but that doesn't stop this teen from using her cell phone. And she'll use her mouth and her lips and her chin to scroll it or to make it bigger or smaller. With her nose. I have a boyfriend, I have, I have best friends, and all that. I talk to them almost, I talk to every, them day. almost every day. I'm a textaholic. I'm a textaholic. <laughs> Those who know Mariah and Tia can tell you there are things this unknown disease can't take away. Her illness is not stopping her spirit. She's Tia all the way. Just just the actual prayers and, and, and help and stuff like that for, for our family and, and everything else is, is really, really appreciative. No doubt the town of Andover knows these young ladies are truly inspirational. I want people to know to never give up, just keep going.